guys. Uh, so it's been a while since I've been doing regular videos and I'm back. Today I wanna to talk to you about how I weaned Connor. Breastfeeding, as we know, is super hard to do, but nobody ever talks about how hard it is to actually stop nursing. This is incredibly difficult, especially for moms who are at home. I do consider myself kind of an at-home mom, even though I do work part-time. I am pretty much was always there for Connor if he wanted to nurse, and so that made it very, very, very difficult to wean. Oh, you got a booger. There we go. Are you excited born, to get I your... Are you going in? I'm not going to make a mistake of giving him a bottle regularly. I'm going to give him a bottle early. I'm going to give him a bottle often. And when it comes time to wean, it will be easy. Well, I did not give him a bottle often. I did give him a bottle early. But he never took a bottle. So I was on the hook for every feeding session before bed, in the middle of the night, first thing in the morning, it takes a toll on a mom. Uh, and he wouldn't take bottles, so even when I would go away for work, I had the guilt that he was at home, you know, hopefully at that point he was eating enough solid food that he wasn't starving. Um, but I did have that guilt traveling. I did have to travel with a pump and then I did attempt to bring the milk home because I was hopeful that maybe he eventually would take a bottle, but he never did. So I'm gonna tell you guys uh, in a few steps how to wean your baby if they are exclusively breastfed and you are with them all the time. So my first tip is to take away a feeding that you're nursing and give it to them instead in a cup. However, um, if your child is like mine, he may not be into that. Um, so instead, you know, you can give them water, um, you could give them a yogurt, uh, something else instead. I waited until Connor was about 12 months. I tried to offer a sippy cup of milk instead. He didn't want that. I tried to offer him a bottle with an alternative milk instead. He didn't want that. He didn't want anything. However, I'm gonna recommend to you guys, if your child will, uh, you could do formula if you do it before a year. I tried Oatly, I tried Ripple, I tried um, different almond milks, I tried whole milk, of course, and there really wasn't uh, anything that he really wanted to drink other than breast milk. He actually wouldn't even take breast milk in a sippy cup. We got down to about two feeds a day, morning and night with Connor, around 13 months. Um, he would occasionally nurse during the day, but it was more of a comfort thing. It was more of he was fussy and upset, so I would offer um, my breast to him as kind of comfort. Uh, but I did narrow it down to just two a day. This is the real trick. I was invited to go away for work and I made this mistake with Tommy. I went away for a week with Tommy and when I came back, I allowed him to continue nursing even though he was like 15, 16 months at the time. When I first got back from that trip with Tommy, however, he didn't want any milk from me. He was almost mad at me and I didn't capitalize on that. I didn't take advantage selfishly because I didn't want to pump um, the next morning um, after I got back. And so I was like, no, you want milk. Here you go. With Connor, I did not want to make this mistake. Um, I decided that I was going away for work for three nights and I, when I got back, I wasn't going to nurse him. I made this proclamation on my uh, Instagram and I was adamant that I was going to stick to it. And wouldn't you know, I did. So your milk doesn't dry up overnight, obviously. I was still nursing him twice a day. So it wasn't like I just had a teeny bit. With Tommy, it was more gradual because I nursed him up until 18 months. So I didn't need to do any type of like drying up my milk strategies. It just kind of did on its own. I was a little uncomfortable for a day or so. With Connor, it was a little bit longer. So I decided I was gonna stop feeding him. It had to be cold turkey. That is my top tip. Go away. Um, if you're around, it's gonna be a lot harder. So if you can have a girls weekend or maybe you have a wedding that you're going to um, and you can leave your child with an in-law or something like that, but try to go away if you can and just do it cold turkey. So maybe that's one night, maybe that's two nights. For me, it was like two and a half, it was like three. 
So I would pump about one to two ounces from each side in the morning. And if I needed to at night, I would pump just a little bit so that I wasn't um, uncomfortable in bed. Again, the next morning, I would try to only pump maybe an ounce. I tried to reduce it. One morning I woke up and I didn't need to pump at all. So I went all day. That night I was pretty uncomfortable. I didn't want to go to bed full. So I used a hand pump and got about a half ounce um, from each side and I went to bed and I was fine. I woke up, I didn't need to pump. I kind of did that for about a week. Um, so I did the slow pump, only pump one to two ounces, continuously um, gradually decrease the amount that you're pumping. You could also do cabbage leaves. Everybody said the cabbage leaves worked. I didn't do them because when I was on my work trip, I didn't have a grocery store or a car nearby. Um, and when I got back to Boston, every time I went to the grocery store, I just kept forgetting to buy cabbage. So I just didn't do it. So pump a little bit. Once you're done pumping, maybe hand express and continue to reduce the amount that you are pumping. And all of a sudden, within about two weeks, I completely stopped producing milk. My boobs went down a full size. I am wearing a size small bra right now, and I have never worn a size small bra. Um, I was like a 34 CD my whole life until I stopped nursing, and I don't even know what I am now, but they are, they are a lot smaller. But anyway, that is how I weaned Connor at 14 months. Why did I wean him? Some of you might be asking. Um, I wanted my freedom back. I wanted my independence. My goal was a year and I hit a year. I am not against nursing for extended period of time, but for me, it just became stressful. Um, when Connor wasn't eating a ton of real food, he was still relying on nutrition from me and he needs to graduate into eating real foods. Not that there's anything wrong with milk, but it was time. We also, I just personally, I, I wanted some time to myself for the past five years. Um, I've had maybe like three or four months that I haven't been nursing or been pregnant. And this sounds totally ridiculous, but I have this thing called melasma on my face that I am really trying to get rid of. And I can't do a lot of things to get rid of it because I am nursing and they don't want to put a lot of um, dermatologists and stuff won't give you topical treatments that could potentially leach into your um, breast milk. Obviously, I don't wanna do that either, but I finally just wanna feel good about myself. Um, and the other thing that's shocking to me since I stopped nursing, I am not starving all the time. It's insane. I was always hungry and finally I'm like, oh my God, this is how most people feel. Like they eat a meal and they're full. Like in an hour later, they don't want another huge meal. It is shocking to me. Um, it feels good to be back to myself. Obviously I have two small children, so I'm you know, perpetually tired. But um, that being said, I don't have the added drain on my body of producing milk. So I hope that this video was helpful for some of you. If you are a working mom, of course you can use these tips um, to you know, reduce your breast milk supply um, if you do want to wean your child. Um, but if you are a stay at home mom and you're trying to wean your kid and they just won't and they don't take bottles, this is the best way to do it. Cold turkey, go away for a weekend. That's it. All right, in my next mommy vlog post, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my melasma and how I am getting rid of it. If you like this video, share it with a friend or a mom you know who is struggling to wean their baby. I'll see you guys soon.